1989, Keanu Reeves got his first starring role as Ted, the dumb but lovable surfer dude in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. 69, dudes! <gasps> but then he took a professional gamble when he played a male prostitute in my own private Idaho. Tomorrow. His long road up the acting ladder also includes a variety of supporting roles, but it's in speed that Keanu Reeves finally moves into the fast lane. All right, pop quiz. Airport, gunman with one hostage. He's using her for cover. He's almost to a plane. You're a hundred feet away. Shoot the hostage. What? Take her out of the equation. Clear shot. You're deeply nuts, you know that? Shoot the hostage. <laughs> In Speed, you play Officer Jack Traven, a SWAT team member. What was that like playing this type of character? Great fun, I guess, to start with. Great fun. You know, the fun of playing the uh, police officer. But not just a police officer, but SWAT. Right. Which is special weapons and tactics. And, and uh, kind of bringing, I wanted to bring across the, uh, the real, the, the kind of, not naive, but the pure thought of what a policeman is. You know, good guys, bad guys. We'll take a turn now and tell you about the new fantasy action movie, 47 Ronin. It's the story of a real-life group of samurai in the 18th century Japan who avenge the murder of their master. Keanu Reeves plays Kai, an outsider who is key in orchestrating revenge. Keanu Reeves, good morning. It's good to see you. Good morning, Savannah. <laughs> I just saw this movie yesterday, and the uh, word that kept popping into my mind was epic. It's just one of those huge Hollywood movies. Is that what attracted you to it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's a, uh, it's like you say, an epic story. It's big. It's, you know, big ideas, honor, sacrifice, revenge, impossible love. But it's also um, very intimate, so I, I'm, that's probably what I really liked about it, was the scale and then the human intimacy in this story. I think there is a little bit of something for everyone. There's the love and these big themes that are dramatic, but let's be honest, it's got a lot of really cool samurai sword fighting. <laughs> yeah, you? there's some samurai sword fighting, there's some witches and some ogres. Once again, Keanu is getting hearts pounding in his new film, John Wick. Yeah, he plays an ex-assassin who leaves the crime world behind, but when a thug invades his home and kills his dog, he finds himself thrown right back into his old ways. Take a look. John Wick. It was just a dog. Just a dog. When Ellen died, I lost everything. Until that dog arrived on my doorstep. A final gift for my wife. An opportunity to grieve on the law. And your son took that from me. Killed that from me! People keep asking if I'm back. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Woo! Scared of you? I'm oh. scared! Wow. John Wick's pretty intense. <laughs> so wait, you killed in this movie. Your character kills 84 people over a dog, right? Um, yeah. Is that about right? Is that right? Is that yeah. how it goes? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's on a mission to, to reclaim something that was taken from him. Mm -hmm. And so it's not, it's just more like they're in the way. Because mm -hmm. I'm trying to get the person who did that to me. So they're all kind of collateral damage. You've got to get Yeah, them. they're kind of in the way. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's a, you know, I mean, it's a bit of a, um, I mean, you go on this journey with John, but it's a bit of a, a fantasy in a way, uh -huh. you know what I mean? He's like kind of, you know, you have this feeling when something's taken away that you want it back. And so in the movie, there's this, you know, we're kind of long for him because you want him to yes. get his life back and to, you know, because we all want, it's not revenge, uh -huh. but it's like reclaiming. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's complex, he's perfectly mellowed and has only gotten better with oh, age. Oh, do you know who we're talking about? Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. <laughs> From Speed to the Matrix, he has starred in some major blockbusters. But in 2014, Keanu unleashed a new character on moviegoers and his name was John, 
John Wick. Wick. Yeah, he's a former assassin <laughs> pushed death. out of retirement to avenge the death of his dog. And in the new movie, it's quite the premise. John Wick <laughs> Chapter 2, Keanu is back to take care of some unfinished business. And he's going to look good while he does it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. hey, Mr. Wick, is this a formal event or a social affair? Social. And is this for day or evening? I need one for day and one for night. And what style? Italian. How many buttons? Two. Trousers. Tapered. How about the lining? Tactical. Cool. Tactical. Uh -huh. uh, you studied <laughs> your lines. <laughs> studied my lines. I was living it. <laughs> Are you happy to be back in John Wick's clothes? I am. Are I really you? love the character. Uh -huh. I love the world. Um, I love the characters, I love the action, I love the tone, so yeah. You we must love have that loved your dog an awful lot to go, with, with, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, it was a, well, number one, it was a gift from my wife. I yes. know, you know? I know, yes. I know. I mean, yeah, I'm a sensitive guy, I'm a <laughs> passionate guy. I'm a sensitive we assassin. Of, we're, yeah. we're feeling it right now. Yeah. When it comes to his work, the only place Keanu Reeves wants to be is at the center of the action. In his latest film, John Wick 3, Parabellum, Reeves returns as the grieving assassin looking for revenge. John Wick, Chapter 3. Where do we pick up John? Where is he in the story? At the end of Chapter 2, we saw John Wick running out of Central Park for his life. Right. And in Chapter 3, we slam cut. New York Public Library. It's a little later, it's night, it's raining, and John Wick is still on the run. Made on a small for an action movie budget. John Wick? The first John Wick film was a runaway hit that launched two sequels, thanks in part to the series' innovative fight sequences. Well, I do all of the action. Yeah. I mean, I'm 90% yeah. of yeah. what's happening there. That means that if I can do it, I'm, keep, I'm maintaining the connection with the audience and with the story. Is it different to do an action scene today than it was 20 years ago in The Matrix? Uh, yes, absolutely. It's more about recovery. 